it's Warthog Princess with another Vera Bradley haul. This first one will be from the online outlet sale and that sale has been extended. So by the way, it's still going for probably another 24 hours by the time this video posts. So don't think you missed out completely. They did in fact also restock some items. So you may be able to find something you thought you missed out on. Enough about that. The first item that I got is a journey backpack. If you know me at all, you know I like my backpacks. And I'm particularly fond of the Journey, although I honestly haven't used them too much. Um, but I really like them. And this was on sale for a really great price. Um, as always, I'll put the MSRP and the price I paid down in the remarks. So after, we can talk about all that. And we can save our video time for talking about the object itself. This is in Kaleidoscope Rosettes. It's a very bright pink, actually. I think it'll kind of wear in a little bit as it gets... I hate to say that, well, it gets a little dirty, it'll tone it down, but, but maybe over time it will be a little less bold. But I kind of like that it's bold, even though pink is not normally my color. I just think it's really pretty. Um, I do like geometric patterns. Obviously, I'm very fond of purple, and all the, the different colors is kind of fun for me. So, Pattern placement on Kaleidoscope, you really can't go wrong because it is geometric, and it's a small enough print that it kind of goes everywhere. Maybe a bigger factor on some smaller pieces, but certainly not an issue for any of the big pieces like this. But just in case you're not familiar with the Journey backpack, let's take a closer look at it. This is made of Lighten Up, and if you're familiar with Lighten Up, it's water resistant. It is on this particular pattern, as well as the Lavender, so it's Lavender Meadow, so it's um, Lavender Garden or something like that. Anyways, the Lighten Up version of that one, they are a little bit more robust fabric, so I think that's a good thing. If you don't like real stiff bags, you probably wouldn't like it as much as the regular Lighten Up or as the Reactive, which is a much, I don't want to say thinner or looser, but it's, it's, it's not as rigid. Anyway, for what that's worth. Um, I do like this though. I do like the variety of different fabrics and patterns. So this front pocket, it's a nice zipper pocket. It has one slip in it. One slip. So I guess that could be for your phone. Let's see. I have my 6S Plus. And mm, I would not use that for that because no. It does fit. It fits inside of there. It was just a little more tricky to get into it. Maybe if I was traveling to hold it someplace, I might. But if I'm getting in and out, that's not going to be where I put it personally. Maybe I'll figure that out later. But I would certainly store my battery pack or some other small item there. The rest of it is just an open pocket. The next pocket is a double zip and inside you have a lot of organization. This is what I love about the Journey backpacks. They're big and they have a lot of organization. So you have this nice little key hook here, which is nice. Then you have two slip pockets and two pen slips. And then on the other side, you also have a nice big mesh zipper pocket. So that's great goes all the way, pretty much all the way down the back. Right, well, in my legs, right about here, right about where it bends. So still, very nice, very, very bright pink. Ah, pink! Um, but it's fun. You're not going to lose anything inside of there because that is bright. All right, next pocket, in order, just going front to back, is actually um, a top pocket. This one is where you put your sunglasses, or you can put whatever you want there. Um, this one has a removable semi-rigid, oops, and it's it's got like a microfiber or felt lining to it, but that's, you know, to protect your, your sunglasses or whatever else you have up there. You can also, obviously, it's Velcro, take that out and then use that pocket for some something else, snacks or quick access, phone, keys, wallet, whatever. Um, but it's nice to have those options. I really like options. That's why I have a room full of arrows. It's something to fit every occasion or every mood or every whatever anyway the next pocket is the main pocket it is double zip opens right up and you have two mesh slip pockets and that's it it's a big open pocket but a couple of things I will tell you everything that you store up top eats away into your space because that does encroach inward onto the space just something to be aware of you're not losing space or anything but it's just a trade-off so there you go. If you have this bottom pouch super duper full, that's gonna lessen what you can shove into that top pouch. Um, just noticed on that top pouch, talking about pattern placement, but 
two perfect pieces of it right on there. So it's kind of nice. All right, the other thing is the next pocket we'll talk about is right here on the bottom. And it is a ventilated and oh, I would say much more robust material down here. You kind of hear that. It's a, it's a really robust material. And these are the two vents that go on the outside. You can't see them very well on this fabric, but there they are, just little ventilated spots. Because this is where the intent is, you can put shoes, you can put dirty laundry, you can put other things there. And it is a fairly decent sized space. However, this is again where I was talking about the trade-off, is that pocket comes up into the main area. So they kind of, you know, that, that inner wall will push one way or the other, depending on which side is more stuff. Yeah, for what that's worth, just something to think about. Doesn't stop me at all. And has not been a problem thus far. I haven't really tested it yet. Not really tested it. It has two mesh pockets on the sides. These are pretty big and they actually have a taper, like a trapezoid shape. So you can put a lot more things down in there if you want. Yeah, I would just use it for water bottles and that kind of thing. And one on the other side as well. The back of this is really nice. You have, first of all, on the straps, you have these extra areas where you can clip on things. You can clip keys or uh, clip another water bottle, clip whatever you want there. You have the cross chest strap, which helps to keep the weight and load balanced better when you're carrying a heavy bag, which is great. Um, it also has the trolley sleeve, and some of these, they're pretty tight fit on the actual luggage handle. I don't know why Vera did that, but if you look, see, it doesn't go all the way across. I get the shape of it, that's fine, I like the colors on the back. But this little strap should just go just a little bit wider, in my opinion, because getting it on and off when it's tight is just such a pain in the butt. But anyway, these are removable. So what you can do is, well, not completely removable, but you unclip the bottom and then you can take these straps and tuck them. You have this little tuck spot here and you can tuck them into the bag so that they're out of view and protected and not going to catch on things. And once you get them down in there, which I'm not doing very well, but okay. So you get them down in there, you still have this nice padded back, and then you can use the bag as like a suitcase, kind of. I know everything's unzipped still. Let me zip it up. So you have these two handles that you can use when it's loaded, that's nice. You also have a side handle on the one side, so you can carry it like that, like a suitcase. So that's kind of cool. And then the last option you have, well, not the last, there's two more. So you have right here, you have a laptop compartment or your tech space. So you have nice padded area, padded on both sides and quite large. You can fit pretty much any laptop in there. And then you have this other little, I don't wanna say secret pocket, but this is where I like to put my quick access things. And it's pretty big. It does go all the way across the bag and it's about like hand width like this all the way across. So easily, obviously you can fit your phone and your wallet, whatever you want in there. And there you go. So the last part that you can actually do, um, if you have something like, I don't know, something thin or light or that you're not worried that's not gonna fall out this bottom space, which is where those um, handles come through, you can use this as a slip storage space as well. You just have to reach in there to get stuff. So there you go. Anyway, that's a journey backpack in Kaleidoscope Rosettes. <laughs> it's bright! Okay, these next four items. Let's just start with the leather. I do love my Vera leather. Okay, so this is Carryall Small Tote in Mold Wine. Genuine leather. And... I unwrapped it, but I left the straps on here until I use it. That's kind of just one of my little trends. It's a nice, beautiful color. It's um, it's not a wild color. It's it's a nice leather. It is not the same as the Sycamore leather that I love, but it is it is a nice leather. And it has the Vera Bradley um, embossing silver and sewn on and a little leather piece there. It has a front pocket. It does have um, a ribbon style leather tabs and then it's just just a pocket it has paper in there you notice the pattern it's 
It's the medallion pattern, which has come out in multiple colors as exterior patterns. But in this one, it's a really nice interior pattern. You get a better look at it there. And it's not the raspberry color, it's actually a mold wine color. So specific to the bag out, outside color. Now, it does come with a, a dust cover. So you, that opens up and you can put your bag in that. It has a zipper pocket on this side. I know there's a lot of paper. It's not even worth taking out. It's just gonna put it back in storage for now. And then two slips on this side. So pretty straightforward. It also does have this little, this is what those secret pockets. And this one has a paper in there. But that's just a, a slip pocket on the actual rim of the bag there, you see that? And it has a magnetic closure. These are really nice, I really like them. And they're pretty big usually, let's see. Here's my phone. It slips easily well within, it still has plenty of room to close, so that's nice. Perfect, it's perfect size. Nice and roomy, easy in, easy out. And you don't even have to open your bag to get to your phone, which is great, especially when you're on the go and you have stuff. Here you get a look at the leather style ribbon tabs that I was talking about. So they are sewn on, they're not gonna come off, and they should last because they're leather. So only bad thing about this bag, well, two things. One, it's a leather bag. It is a flat bottom, therefore it's intended to stand. It should have feet. Should have feet to protect that leather. And also, this zipper on the top is still that awful metal zipper that we hate. I know this is a slightly older bag and hopefully Vera is going to change the leather zippers. Although on the leather they tend to work better than they did on the other, just they're hit or miss, you know? This particular one, thankfully, is not bad. It's working really well, except this end little section is a little bit tight. Um, I have also heard that you can like rub them with wax and certain kinds of wax might help lubricate that zipper and make it better. I have not tried that. Hasn't been big of enough of a factor. I usually just avoid those pockets, but this one's a main pouch, so it's impossible to avoid that zipper. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so that is that. And that is my first carry-all piece, actually. It's kind of cool. To go with that, I'm a big fan of these clamshell cosmetics, and this one is bigger. I'll have to bring out later another <clears throat> excuse me another video oh, I'll, I'll have to bring out the cosmetics together because this is like double the size of the clamshell I normally get so I'm a little bit surprised by that I'm both pleased and disappointed <laughs> I know that sounds contrary but but this one is iconic clamshell cosmetic in blackberry wine and it is it's nice I would say comparable to a medium cosmetic the one that I normally have seen I did not realize this was this big. Um, this is great for like your bigger things, but I like the smaller one because it's perfect for my purses. This could still be used in a purse, but I mean, it's gonna have to be a big purse because that is a big base. And even if you didn't have it all full, it, yeah, it's got a little bit of, there's no rigid bottom, but there's a little structure to it just by virtue of the thickness of the material sewn across it. So yeah, I don't know. I will love the heck out of it. I actually bought it to use with that mold vine tote. That may or may not happen. I don't know. But it will go with plenty of other things. Um, or it'll make a great gift. Anyway. Inside, plastic lined all throughout. And it has that foxwood interior. So you get all the cute little critters. And there's a fox right there, right up front. You got the quail. Let's see what else we got. It's kind of hard to look at it when you're looking at it this way. But anyway, oh, here on the other side. We have a chipmunk, bottom part of a quail, more fox, another woodpecker over here. Yeah. Okay, so that is blackberry wine. So blackberry wine and mulled wine. To me, um, on, on the pictures online, I thought they would match better than they, they appear to match here. Sorry, my hair's all in the way. Um, but when I took a picture, they didn't match very well in the picture. And I would say the same. They look in person like a better match. But like I'm sure what you're seeing here is a bit of a mismatch. But because the velvet has like a 
it's velvet. So it has like a different view depending on the light. So you have the darker look and the lighter look. I do think it still does match. And if you see that lighter look of it with that light angle, it does match pretty well. Anyway, hey, the window's open because it's about to rain and they've been cooped up all night. They want to get out. So anyway, all right, blah, blah, doggy stuff. Get over here. Kelly, come here. Come on, get up. I'll keep her from barking anyways. Huh, yeah, no, Kelly, it'll be good. There's nobody out there that we need to be worried about. Okay, the next item, the exact same item, but in black. I do love this super, super soft velvety. Like when you say velvet, I'd be like, mm, not interested. I like velvet for some things. It's a classy fabric. Um, you know, growing up, there was a lot of velvet in the 70s, but, but this is not that. This is a very lush, plush, it's, it's soft, it's super soft. It's almost more like microfiber-ish, like um, not Vera microfiber, but I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but it's just, it's just soft. I really, really like it a lot. I could just sit here and just fondle my bag. <laughs> anyway, inside, the exact same pattern as the other, but it, you just, it picks up more of the black tones because of the black exterior. I know it's kind of funny, but same, same, same. Okay. The last item I got, so I kind of did tote and clamshell, kind of crisscrossed. Hang on. Hello again. Sorry about that. It was the postman, and that's why she was probably barking because the truck pulled up. Anyway, um, they're gone now, and it was not via mail, but it was important, so that's good. Anyway, the, the last item that I got in this haul is a Vera tote. It's a classic style Vera tote. It's in the black and white mini concerto. And you can tell by this green tag, it is a little bit older um, pattern because that was the older style. Um, when I ordered this, I ordered just the plain black and white Vera tote. That's what I wanted. That's what the picture showed. That's what the description was. However, when this arrived, it came and I saw the tag first because this side, this just looks what I expected it to be. And it says collegiate collection. Hmm. I did not order, nor do I want, a collegiate collection black and white, but guess what I got? At first I said Pittsburgh, but I think it's Purdue, but anyway, I don't want it. I don't want to pee. But guess what? I can't return it and exchange it because this particular item sold out. So I need to go back and check with the extended and see if they maybe found some more magically because then I would exchange it. But when I talked to customer service yesterday, they didn't. They didn't allude to the fact that it was going to extend another day. They definitely said there was none in stock, so we'll see. I will check. But just in case, I don't want to send it back. I mean, $20 essentially for this $100 or $100 plus dollar bag is still a really good deal, even with a pee. And I do know people that went there, so it would still be a great gift, although I have no intention of giving it away. I have a lot of black and white stuff and a lot of concerto, mini concertos with this. I really don't want to get rid of Anyway, let's look at the bag. I did get a solution just in case I ordered, I got right away on Amazon and I ordered a black and white patch that I can sew on over the pea because I'd rather have the American flag any day over pretty much anything. But, but even though that's not what I would have bought, I wouldn't have chosen, I would most definitely, I would do that. So we shall see. But for now, let's just look at the bag. So on the one side, which is the front, it, it actually doesn't even say Vera Bradley on there, which is interesting because it's not on the back either. Hmm. That's different. That has a pocket. It is the um, uh, black nylon lining. And in this pocket, it actually has two slips. So there's an outer slip and an inner slip. And I'm curious if the inner slip would actually fit the phone. And it does. Well, width-wise, height-wise, not so much, but it does give the phone a little bit extra security. Or you can just put it completely in the big pocket and it's well, well covered. I don't know. It's not easy enough in and out of that little pocket. So, On the back side, it has a zipper pocket. So that's nice. It does have ribbon zipper pulls and it's an old enough style that it has the signature Vera Bradley on the zipper pulls. On the top, it's got a nice big strap drop, standard 
Vera tote. And it is the regular size Vera, obviously not the small Vera. It does have a zipper closure across the top. And inside has three slips on each side. Oops, sorry, I don't know if you can see that. So three slips on this side and three slips on the other side. Straightforward. So that is the Vera. And everybody keeps asking about how do I fold my Vera? How do I store my Vera? Well, you, if you've watched the video of the storage room or the Vera room, you've seen a lot of things. I generally like to store them flat because I have so much, there's no other way to do it, really. You have to be able to do that. So the first thing I will say, I, I look at how it came to me because it's Vera stuff. They're not going to ruin their stuff. They're going to want to fold it usually, not 100% of the time, but usually in a very good way. So in this case, this is a rigid bottom item. And, and because it is older Vera, it is rigid and it is removable, but it's rigid. So that's great. Um, there you go. So it has a rigid base, so it's not going to fold, like fold the base in half like some of the bags do. For example, the small Vera's usually come folded there. I don't like that. Um, but there's a trade-off either way. So no matter where you fold the bag, there's going to be a crease. So in this case, um, the bag, the bottom is rigid. It will stand firmly. The front is not creased and the back will have this crease all the way across. There's really no way around it. What I will say is thus far, at least, as soon as you put some things in it, it pops right back out. You can steam it, you can stuff it, you can make it hold its shape, but I don't have room to store things in their shape. So for me, I just accept that in the short term, there is a crease. It's cotton fabric, it will come out. And you don't have to iron it, so that's nice. Um, as far as handles, I generally do just like this bag came, is I put the handles back inside and I try not to get them all crumpled up. I try to lay them relatively flat on themselves and then there you go. That's how I store my bag. Stores nice and flat just like that and they stack up perfectly right on top. If you have bags that are a little bit thicker on one end or the other, then you can alternate so that the stack stays level, but there you go. So that's how I fold that. And now I'm just keep putting tidbits. I may do a folding, like mass folding video, but honestly, that, that would be pretty tedious. I might just do, aside from these tidbits, um, maybe just do like a duffel folding because there's a couple different ways you can fold those and it took me a while to figure that out because those don't always come folded like that. But anyway, okay, so that's the beer toe. But since we were interrupted by the doorbell and I did have to take a moment to take care of that and we started a new video, I grabbed the regular clamshell so that we could compare them before this video even ends. So here is the regular, or the first one I found. They are in the four piece cosmetic or four piece travel cosmetic thing. Um, but this is a great size. This was an individual piece, not, but the other ones are the same. So you can see the base has a decent width to it, but it's nice. The clamshell comes together. So it's, it's kind of a tapered shape and rounded top. And they zip all the way down to the edge, but they're gusseted on the sides a little bit so that you can really get into that bag. I mean, you really can see everything that's in there. Um, this is blue and it is velvet. But compare this, let me try and fold it the same way. Yeah, it's not really gonna fold, but compared to the ones I just got, there's the, the height of it. Let me put edge to edge, sorry. But you can see there's a, a, it's about double, almost double the size. Not quite, maybe the blue one is about two thirds of the height and width of the black one. But when you look at the base width, yeah, it's full on double. I mean, look at that. So that's a pretty big difference. Yeah. So I could put it bottom to bottom. It literally is um, just a little more than half. Gosh, I guess it looks like two thirds again when I put it actually corner to corner. But that's big. I mean, that is big comparatively. So to me, this would be like small cosmetic and a medium cosmetic for what that's worth. I did not know that. I, like I said, I'm pleased and displeased. Pleased because that gives it some other options, but displeased because I bought it for this purpose. Okay, 
it is what it is. But that's it for this one. I do have more orders coming from the online outlet sale. Um, you might ask why do I have multiple orders? It was just one sale. There was no coupons or anything because it's online outlet. But sometimes, very often in fact, if you don't check out quickly, you can have it in your cart and not even be taking a long time, but by the time you go to your cart to check out, it's gone. It's sold out. Sold out right from your cart. I hate that. I think they should have a little bit of a timer, maybe five minutes, and you could at least have an opportunity to finish your shopping and check out before you lose the item you just found. Um, but that's the way it is. So I've learned that, and what I do instead is I find an item or two, and if it's something I really want or I'm really afraid it might sell out, check out. You can go back and shop, check out. Go, you know, so you get little orders, but you get multiple. But that way you don't miss out on the things that you really want. So for what that's worth, I know I've been saying that phrase a lot today, but it is what it is. Take care. Stay safe. Washy washy. And next video is a retail haul. Bye for now.